Hi, hello, welcome to home school. This is your class 7 mathematics, NCRT or CBSC board. We are in our last session of your fourth chapter, simple equations exercise 4.4, third main. Solve the following. First sub question in it, Irfan says that he has seven marbles. Okay, see ya, he is Irfan. What does he say? He is saying that I have seven marbles more than five times the marbles permit have. Permit. How many permit have? Permit have how many marbles? We don't know. Let the marbles of permit be x. Okay. Now let's go back again. Irfan says that he has seven marbles more. 7 marbles more than 5 times the marble permit have. 5 times the marble permit have. 5x plus 7. Okay, understand carefully here. First we are talking here about Irfan. But there is a link with permit. If you know permit, you can frame Irfans. Once again, permit if we assume x. Irfan has 7 marbles more than 5 times the permit marbles. Irfan has 37 marbles. How many Irfan has? 37 marbles. 37 marbles. How many marbles permit have? We don't know. Right? So let us equate these two. You are going to get an equation if you simplify. You are going to get the x value. That is nothing but the permit marbles. Write the solution. Let, let the number of the number of marbles permit have is equal to x. Let us assume it as x. Okay, this is just rough to understand this one. Now next, Irfan. Irfan has 7 more than, 7 more than 5 times, 5 times the marbles, 5 times the marbles permit has. Permit has that is equal to 7 more than 5 times means 5x and what is that Irfan has Irfan has 37 marbles now these two you need to equate Irfan's equation and total number also known so let us equate 5x plus 7 equal to 37 plus 7 transpose other side minus 7. 37 minus 7. 5x is equal to 30. x is equal to 5 multiples and other side it will be divided. 30 by 5. 5, 6 are 30. So therefore x is equal to 6. That means permit Permit has 6 marbles. How many marbles permit has? Permit has 6 marbles. Okay. See the next sub question. Lakshmi's father is 49 years old. Who are we talking here? Lakshmi and Lakshmi's father. Lakshmi's father is 49 years old. He is... 4 years older than 3 times Lakshmi age. Oh my god, these type of questions we should think a little. Let us slowly understand here. Okay. Lakshmi, Lakshmi father. Lakshmi father and Lakshmi. Just try to imagine. Lakshmi father is 49 years old. 49 years old. He is... Again, we are talking about him. He is 4 years older than. 4 years older means 
plus four years more. Four years older than three times. Three times Lakshmi is. So first step we need to assume Lakshmi age. What is Lakshmi age? Let it be X years. Let let Lakshmi's age is equal to. Let Lakshmi's age is equal to X years. Now you will get the equation. Say it carefully. Lakshmi. Lakshmi's father. Age given. No need of let for that. 49 years. According to the question. What did they give the statement here? Lakshmi's. Lakshmi's father is four years older, four years older than, older than three times Lakshmi's age, three times Lakshmi's age. What is Lakshmi's age is your question. According to this statement right here, Lakshmi's father is 4 years older plus 4 than 3 times Lakshmi's age, 3x plus 4. By the way, what is Lakshmi's father age? That is also given here. What is that? 49 years. Now this equate with 49. Equation is ready. Simplification is needed. Let us simplify. Transpose plus 4 other side. It will be minus 4. 49 minus 4 will be 45. 3x is equal to 45. This 3 multiple send other side. It will be divided. x is equal to 45 by 3. Cancel. 3 ones are 3 fives. Are. Therefore x is equal to 15. What is this 15? Lakshmi's age is equal to 15 years. Therefore, Lakshmi's age is equal to 15 years. That's it. Understand carefully these type of verbal problems. Should be very careful. Watch two to three times this video. Okay. Second sub question. People of Sundargram. What is the place? People of Sundargram planted trees in the village garden. Some of the trees were fruit trees and some of non-fruit trees. Look here. Some trees were planted. Let this be having fruits. And this is non-fruit trees. These trees having fruits and these not having fruits. Just understand the problem. Not only one tree, there are many trees planted. Observe the question. People of Sundargram planted trees in the village garden. Some of the trees were fruit trees. Some of them are fruit trees. The number of non-fruit trees. We are talking about number of non-fruit trees were... Two more. Two more means plus two. Two more than three times. Three times. Three into. Three times the number of fruit trees. By the way, how many fruit trees are there? We don't know. Let the number of fruit trees be x. Now read this one again. Number of non-fruit trees is Two more than thrice the fruit trees. Thrice the fruit trees means 3x plus 2. The number of non-fruit trees were two more than thrice the number of fruit trees. Let the number of fruit trees be x. Let, let the number of Fruit trees be x. 
next let let the number of non fruit trees the number of non fruit trees is equal to 2 more than 3 times the number of fruit trees 3x plus 2 next statement what was the number of fruit trees we don't know if we calculate we are going to get x value what was the number of fruit trees planted we don't know if we get x value we get that answer if the number of non fruit trees planted was 77 okay we know how many non fruit trees are there 77 try to frame the equation look here 3x plus 2 you can write one more statement here the number of non fruit trees planted is equal to 77 write the statement the number of non fruit trees planted non fruit trees planted is equal to 77 2 more than 3 times the number of fruit trees means 3x plus 2 equate that equal to 77 send this to other side 3x is equal to 77 minus 2. 3x is equal to 75. 3 multiple. Send other side. Divide. That will be 3 twos are 6. 3 fives are 15. Therefore, x is equal to 25. What is this x, children? The number of the number of fruit trees planted in sundar gram village fruit trees is equal to 25 trees okay is this clear try to understand the concept first and then write the verbal statements frame the equation then simplify the equation okay and ending don't forget to write the statement what is the question they ask you need to complete your problem by ending with that statement this is your last problem we are going to end up our chapter with a small riddle let us solve this solve the following riddle i am a number i am a number which number don't know let us assume it as x every line of the riddle we are going to solve i am a number let the number be x tell my identity your identity let us assume it as x okay next take me seven times over seven times over means seven times the number once again i am a number yes which number let us assume and give an identity x take me seven times over means 7x and add a 50 for this we need to add 50 okay next to reach a triple century to reach a triple century means one century is 100 to 200 triple 300 okay to reach 300 means equal to 300 7x plus 50 equal to 300 and one more line you still need 40 for what to reach triple century so for this again you add 40 for it let us see the riddle again I am a number. Give me an identity. Your identity is X. Take me seven times over seven X, and add a fifty. Seven X plus fifty. To reach a triple century. To reach a triple century means why we are doing all this? To reach triple century is equal to three hundred. Seven X plus fifty equal to three hundred. We have written. and one more point there you still need 40 to what to reach triple century you still need 
So 50 plus 40 again we have added here. Now you need to simplify this equation. 50 plus 40, 90 is equal to 300. 90 transpose other side. 300 minus 90 that will be 210. 7 is a multiple. Send other side. Divide. X is equal to 210 by 7. That will be 7. 3 is a 21. 0. Therefore, X is equal to 30. Let us check the riddle once again. I am a number. Which number? Yeah, 30. Let us see. 7 times a number. 210. 7 times a number means 210. Add for that 50, 260. If you add 40 more, 300, then you are going to reach triple century. So children, in your buff notes, how you are going to do? Again, rewrite the riddle by one one line. Give me identity x, 7 times over 7x. Add 50, 7x plus 50. To reach triple century, 7x plus 50 is equal to 300. And you still need adding 40 plus 40. Solve the equation and say therefore, therefore, finally, therefore, I am a number. Who is that number? Therefore, 30 is the number. Therefore, 30 is the number. And we are going to end our statement, not only statement. Our simple equations chapter is also completed. Keep on practicing this children. This chapter is very important basic for your future equations. Quadratic equations it might be. Polynomials it might be. In future linear equations. All the equations. Simple equations is the basic concept. So understand carefully. Practice more and more. Try to be perfect of this chapter. Okay, keep on practicing. We are going to meet in our next session with your new chapter. Until that, keep watching. Thank you all.